What many people are still missing about selling on Etsy in 2022 is to rank on Etsy, you need to sell on Etsy. To which you say, Oh, well, that's nice, but I can't sell on Etsy because I can't rank on Etsy. Yeah, I get it. It feels like a vicious circle. So we're going to go through how to create Etsy titles and tags from scratch and not just random words for your titles and tags, but how to figure out Etsy titles and tags that actually sell. So you rank higher, so you sell more, so you rank higher, so you sell more, so you rank higher, so you sell more, so you rank higher, so you sell more. And hopefully you can become stuck in an infinite loop of sales upon sales upon sales upon sales as you climb the ranks through all of your keywords to really help you sell on Etsy successfully. Your first goal is to rank for very specific keywords that have low competition but will sell if a buyer finds it, if it's specific enough for their needs. Like personalized embroidered silk bridal robe, and then as it sells more and more, the listing will climb the ranks for broader, although highly competitive search terms. And that is how your listing goes viral on Etsy. I would imagine you are casting a net and not a fishing line. Let me say that once more, because I think it works really well for Etsy. You aren't trying to catch only one specific fish with only a few keywords, even if that might work sometimes. And you do need to do that a little bit, but you simultaneously need to use a whole fishing net to catch many fish, even though it will likely take one specific keyword combination to start attracting the fish. And even though only a few keyword combinations will actually be the ones to get you the most orders. But you won't know what those keywords are until you start selling your item successfully. So where do you start with Etsy titles and tags? I'm going to be very specific and even though I've probably broken the rules of all of these suggestions here and there myself, I tend to follow these steps most of the time and it seems to have worked very well for getting my Etsy listings found in Etsy search by my Etsy customers. I start with the Etsy title and then I do the tags second. If I have good keywords in the title, I can probably use many of them in the tag so the rest is easier after this. I also start with the title because Etsy titles can have longer keyword combinations and longer words that might not easily fit within the 20 character parameters of the tags. And I fill out as many characters in the Etsy title and Etsy tags as possible. Again, keep in mind Etsy tags are limited to only 20 characters. So if there's something that won't fit within the tags, then at least I've already got it covered in the title. I also want the most important keywords at the beginning of the title because that becomes the words in the link of the web browser, which gives search engines helpful information about what the web page and the listing is about. Of course, it's also super important to double check that none of the words in the title or tags are trademarked. However, that being said, in the title, I emphasize who the item is ideally for and who the shopper is and try to focus on what a real shopper might be looking for. So for example, if I was selling a personalized embroidered silk robe for brides, I would put what it is and who would most likely buy the robes in the title. Someone might be searching for a gift for a bridal shower or used for a bachelorette party or for a personalized bridesmaid gift. And all of these words are different and unique. I would not recommend repeating the same words over and over and over and over. And as the listing ages, I would only delete the keywords that cost you money without actually selling the item. Hint, hint, this is when Etsy ads are actually incredibly valuable, but that video will have to wait for another day. So how do I figure out which words to put in an Etsy title? This is where you have to do your Etsy keyword research. It's a lot harder to sell something that no one is searching for, and if no one even knows they want it. It's super cool to have something new to sell, but it's probably easier to improve upon what is already being sold in a new or unique way. 
with a similar product. Nowadays, I start with keywords that are in my head and then I check with keyword search tools to see how many people are searching those search terms and how much competition there is. I do worry less and less about having some competition for some of the keyword combinations, but I find the most success in finding some keywords that have less competition to help pull the listing through the ranks as it gains favorites and sales and reviews and return customers, all of which signal to Etsy to show the listing to more and more people. I've only ever used the free version of eRank, sorry eRank, and found it to be an incredibly valuable resource. But then in November of 2021, I started experimenting with Sales Samurai, which shows me the keyword search volume directly in the Etsy search bar within Etsy itself. It shows me right in Etsy. It's ridiculous and has been absolutely transformative because it's so fast and easy. I can definitely credit it for helping my Etsy shop have over $84,000 of sales in December of 2021 with over $22,000 of profit. So it's pretty amazing. I still would recommend experimenting with both E-Rank and with Sales Samurai because they both have amazingly helpful information. In E-Rank, I can see the other tags and titles that other Etsy shops are using and then check to see if some of these tags or other combinations of them might work well for my shop. Although, to be honest, more often than not, I find a way to improve it. So don't just blindly copy everything you see on Etsy because you can and should do a better job than what you perceive to be your competition. You owe it to yourself. In Sales Samurai, I can check very quickly how many people are searching for a specific keyword. And looking back, it's literally embarrassing how many times I previously used keywords that no one was searching for at all. But check this out. You can even type in one letter of the alphabet and it will start to feed you the search volume for specific keywords you might want to look into more deeply. I have personally used keywords that I found in a search to go see what items are selling and then think of an entirely new product that the niche doesn't have yet because maybe I think I understand or can design for that particular niche. Having the ability to instantly search the search volume Sorry, but that's pretty funny. Helps to make creating a new listing so much faster and honestly effortless. So if you'd like to check out E-Rank or Sales Samurai, I'll put the link down below in the description. And this is not sponsored at all, but I might receive a small commission if you sign up for Sales Samurai. Oh, congratulations. We've made it to the Etsy tags tutorial section. So how do I figure out which keywords to use in my Etsy tags? Well, again, the good news is you've reached the easy part as you likely already have many keywords figured out for the title from your keyword research. Now for the tags, use shorter combinations of the words from the title in a logical way. The order that you type in the tags doesn't matter at all. But again, personally, I try to put the words within each tag in a logical order. So if you have a tag that says Christmas wreath and another one that says green wreath, then it doesn't matter which one you type first. But that leads us to the next point, and that is that tags don't need to repeat anything over and over and over. So you don't need to say teacher mug, teacher cup, teacher latte mug, teacher teacup, you probably will do much better by including other relevant keywords like funny teacher or amazing teacher or music teacher. And hey, maybe you should make up some tags about this video and put it in the comments. A little bit of repetition in the tags is fine, but if you already have the word teacher in a few spots, Etsy will start to show it for people searching for things related to teachers, but you could be missing out. If the mug is also a gift idea for a kindergarten teacher or a year-end thank you gift for a science teacher, be very specific, but split up the long phrase or long tail keywords into a couple different tags without repeating everything over and over. I always go back to the Wolf of Wall Street, sell me this pen. Well, is it a personalized rose gold pen for a bridesmaid or is it a teacher appreciation gift? I do like to try to include some of the same keywords from the Etsy title 
in the text and make them exactly the same in the title and the text, but only for the most search for keyword combinations. But many of the tags won't work out that way anyways due to the short length of the tags or because there are other more descriptive words I'd like to include. So this isn't mandatory, but if I really want to emphasize what the item is about, I will put the same keywords in the title and the tags a little bit. Keep in mind there are many other types of attributes that Etsy customers search for and these are very important because customers don't tend to find what they are looking for in broad and generic searches, but will continue to search more and more until they find what they are looking for. So try to brainstorm what some of these words might be. And you might be able to use these in many of your listings that are descriptive of the item or the style of the item that perhaps your competition doesn't have in their listing. And this will help you to fill up as many characters in the tags because you might otherwise be missing out on a potential sale. So yes, fill up your Etsy tags with as many characters and potential words as you can. So don't make one Etsy tag say personalized and another tag say robe and another tag say bride. You could make it silk bridal robe, another tag bride robe, and then personalized gift. Use all the characters in the tags, or at least as many as possible. If you can think of applicable and relevant keywords your customers might be searching for. Overall, to summarize, I start by researching the keywords for my title by using a keyword search tool to see how many people are searching for those particular keywords and how much competition there is. And finally, I use many of those same keywords in the tag section, but I even add additional keywords that might not fit in the title. And again, from what I can tell, I usually notice that the order of the words in the tags is completely irrelevant in the way that Etsy shows the listings to customers. Well, thank you so much for watching this far and welcome to Teacher in the Tesla where I help you grow your Etsy shop from the ground up to success. That's it for today's video and I sincerely hope that it helped you in some way. And if it did, please like and share the video if you think this information would benefit someone else you know. As always, I wish you the very best of success in building your Etsy shop for today, tomorrow, and for well into the future. See you later, superstar. Mm -hmm.